this day we are going to try Manhuyod sandbar and also dolphin watching if that is feasible today. Uh, this is in Bay City, roughly one uh, hour away from uh, from Dumaguete. And as you can see, it was supposed to be sunny today according to the forecaster. We've been roosted again. Mano Yod Sambar is a massive sambar that is, uh, well, pretty long. It stretches from the town of Manhuyod and 7 kilometers out. The boat ride was 2,500 peso with a docking fee of 500 and an entrance fee of 30 per adult. I honestly believe the docking fee could have been included in the boat fee itself, but uh, you know how stuff works like in the Philippines, eh? As far as activities go, you can ride a banana boat, and as stated, there's a high likelihood of seeing dolphins here. However, there was none of it when we went there. None of it? I want my money back! Also, we arrived at a time when the tide will rise much earlier, thus, even if we arrived quite early, the whole sandbar was in the process of being swamped. In all fairness, the sandbar does look amazing, especially from the air, and it's generally a good spot all around if you're already Negros Oriental. Oh no! Hey, it's gone. Ah, I flew a dr drone for too long. Well, here the high tide is coming. Just, I just left two minutes ago, and there was still sun here. Now it's all gone. Are you sad? I mean, there's still sun, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can. Unfortunately, no dolphin watching. Apparently, uh, boats are returning now, so it means that there's no more dolphins to be seen over there. I don't think it's too big of a deal. We have to come back here uh, one time either way because the weather could be better, as I usually say. This is a pretty big sandbar. It looks like it stretches on for kilometers or maybe one kilometer. Uh, it goes all the way from uh, Man Manhuyod behind here and it goes all the way um, back here. <laughs> a lot of pictures of me because I wow. want to look pretty. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not pretty. I'm just cute. I will add that. I will definitely no! add that. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Alright, May. Family for the language. Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> I will add all of that, I promise you. There's one thing I want to mention, uh, not quite sure if you can see, but you can see, if you see, my knees are very, very dirty. That's literally only from us riding from Dumaguete to here, as like a one hour ride. Please use a uh, dust filtering face mask when riding, it's going to save your lungs, that's actually what we're doing. I would not ride on these, uh, that's what I, um, that's actually what we, don't really understand in this place. Uh, we've been riding a few times in Cebu and Bohol. Things like this has uh, not happened to us before, uh, where it gets so dusty that even our lungs start to hurt, right? Yeah, I, every time in the morning, every time I wake up, there's, I always have this really, really annoying sore throat. Yeah, so that's, I don't know. And right now, I yeah. even have a zip on. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't understand uh, why that is the case. Uh, that's yeah, the only think, thing we kind of have a problem. I think it's because, um, it's because uh, there's also the number one, the pollution, and as well as there's a lot of landscape here, like farm and such. Yeah, with dust. Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> well, that's the only problem we have. But other than that, we actually really like Dumaguete and uh, you know Negros Oriental in general. Probably next time I'm gonna go for a car. Yeah, a car <laughs> actually. Food served. Um, how much do we pay for this again? Uh, it's 350 per house. So just uh, for us two, 350, uh, 700. Yeah. But those, yeah. Uh, it's different for that one. It's 
150 for the oysters. Oh, the oysters and such, yeah. Yeah, and uh, for the scallops, which is inside here, it's 450. That over there is a floating side side store. <laughs> That's so cool. So you see this uh, four, four kind of famous uh, buildings set up here at the Sambar. Well, actually, right now there's only one that is uh, admirable that you can go into because you can see this one is damaged. This one has no ladder or staircase. And same with this one, and it's also damaged. I believe, I'm not quite sure, but I feel like it's from uh, Typhoon Odette because this is kind of... Baiz was quite affected by this Typhoon, it went... You see, the boys right over here and the Typhoon came just right over here. So I believe this damage is caused by that and they have not repaired three of them yet. But at least before, this was uh, something you could uh, stay at to when the tide races and the do boats will uh, dock up at them. Also, we have a friend, Yancy. He is in uh, Molbol now. So as Cebu is right over here, I will just say Yancy! Hello! How are you? Please respond! I think I forgot to mention we have already left um, That is because there's high tide so uh, there's not so much special to do there anymore when uh, once there's a high tide and um, we didn't really plan to be there for too long either either way uh, I just want to explain a little bit about my personality I have a tendency when I put the key in here to open here I have a tendency to just leave it there and that's what happened now this one was here the whole time you're over there but you know uh, I don't really think there's a lot of crime in this area the, in general but uh, but thankfully of course it's still here so yeah I, I'm not really surprised. People are very humble, humble and uh, you know, down to earth. So why would I do that? So I assume that this video will not be so long. Uh, therefore, I want to add this little bonus uh, part here. So Negros, if you go around Negros, you will come across a lot of these uh, sugar fields here that you can see here. This is sugar cane. That's how you produce sugar most of the time. And this is one of the biggest pro uh, sugar producers in the entire country. Yeah, here uh, behind me, uh, people uh, planting sugar cane, I believe. And you also see a lot of trucks carrying sugar cane all over the place. Um, in addition to a few mills around uh, once in a while that uh, processes the sugar. So I find that very cool that there's a big agricultural uh, business here. There's even a train, sort of, that is specifically made for uh, the sugar cane uh, that goes around here. Now, uh, the, the part about uh, the sugar industry, it's a bit of a controversy lately due to the increase in sugar prices. But uh, I'm not really the best person to talk that about and I just want to appreciate the kind of agriculture that the Philippines have. Even though there are some flows once in a while. So, uh, we are now going to back to Dumaguete and we will pass through a lot of sugar fields here, uh, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. 